Hi, John from the Historic Game Shop here to introduce you to our Historic Game Shop YouTube channel. In my videos I'm going to discuss a wide range of topics all relating to historic games and here we'll give you an indication of what will be coming up. First though, let me give you a few definitions. At the Historic Game Shop I make replicas of board games for reenactment, film, television, theatre and all those who are interested in historic games. So these will be the main focus in these videos. However, I will also discuss dice games, playing cards and card games, as well as a few other types of games that were being played in the past, mostly indoors and mostly around the table. Geographically, we make games that were historically played in an area roughly equivalent to Europe today. So, from the Mediterranean, north to Scandinavia, and from Iceland and then Britain in the west, to Western Russia in the east. Time-wise, I'm looking at a period from the Romans through the medieval period and on to the end of the 18th century, so we're looking at about a 2,000 year history. I may well make mention of games from other areas and other time periods, but this is the area and the time period the Historic Game Shop covers and will be where I'll be concentrating in these videos. I've put together six short videos, each giving an overview of this 2,000 year time period, divided into six smaller chunks. This begins with the Romans and the discussion of Ludus the Trunculorum and Duodecum Scripta. In the second video, I'm looking at Viking and Anglo-Saxon games, with a discussion of Nefertafel. Following this are board games of the 11th to the 13th century, where I discuss Nine Men's Morris and Alkirki, as well as a few other games. In my video on board games of the 14th and 15th centuries, I discuss Fox and Geese and the Hare Game, amongst others. And in the board games of the Tudors, I look at the game of the Goose, alongside the range of games that the Tudor people played. In the final video on the 17th and 18th century games, I look at drafts and the changes made to Fox and Geese and the development of Asalto. Though these videos are very much an overview, I do demonstrate a number of historic games such as this, which is the Roman, Medieval and 17th century game of Three Men's Morris. The videos do though give an idea of which games were played and when. However, in the videos dealing with the time from the 11th century onwards I mention chess and in all I mention tables games. So I will be following these videos up with a more in-depth video of tables, boards and tables games from their origins in the Roman game of Duodecum Scripta through to the establishment of Backgammon as one of the most well-known tables games. Then I'll be making a video on chess, specifically looking at the evolution of chess pieces from their introduction into Europe in the 9th or 10th century to the publication of the Chess or King game by Augustus the Younger, Duke of brunswick Luneburg, writing as Gustav Selnus in 1616. Once I've done this, I'll move on to videos exploring historic dice games, as well as looking at an historic overview of board game mechanics and a video looking at some of the historic sources that discuss games. If you would like to subscribe to our channel, you will be able to find out when our new videos are posted. Also, we would love to hear from you if you have any comments or questions. You can also visit our website where you can buy many of the board games, dice and playing cards I discuss. Thanks for watching.